Hello everyone, welcome to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're going to be playing some casual Marvel Champions. Yeah, I'm looking at you hardcore Marvel Champions <laughs> players. Yeah, yeah, be nice. Be nice, all right? Uh, so we got some Marvel Champions back to the channel. We're playing it. We're going to try to keep it on the table every week or so. Uh, and try to keep it going because we have a backlog of packs and content that uh, remain unplayed. Uh, so today, we're playing some stuff that's new to us. Okay, I've never played Hawkeye, but I'm playing Hawkeye today. Mel's never played Spider-Woman. Nope. Nor have I, and Mel never played Hawkeye. We're playing with heroes we've literally never played with. We literally built the decks today. So if, uh, you know, it's going to tilt you to watch some players struggle with these two heroes and goof up some cards and have some fun while we play and enjoy this game because it's a freaking game, not a tournament. Uh, if that's going to bug you, go away. Go away. I don't want you here. Uh, and we're also, for my second time ever, we're playing Rise of the Red Skull, but I played it like last September, I think, in 2020. Right now it is June of 2021. So Mel, super late to the party. This is her first time seeing anything from Rise of the Red Skull, but yes. we recently played on the channel the better campaign that has come out since, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy one, whatever it was called. I uh, can't remember the name. Can you remember? Nope. Let's think. It's like, uh, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> so bad with names of stuff. Too many damn games. Uh, anyways, uh, but yes, we played that campaign box. Had a blast. It has definitely improved over this one, at least in my first impressions when I played this campaign. Uh, we are using cards that came out after um, this box came out. So uh, we just found some deck lists online. I've linked them down below. Um, and uh, we didn't tweak them or anything. We just grabbed some decks that look like, you know, they didn't conflict with cards. That's one of the problem. Galaxy's most wanted. Yeah, That's thank it. thank you, thank you. Thank you, Kanji. It sounds familiar now that you say it. Yeah, that. yeah. Now when you say it, I'm like, oh, I should have known that. Duh. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was even looking at it today. And I, could, I man, so bad. Uh, but yeah. yeah, so we're going to be playing through this. Mel, wa Mel wants to try it out. Uh, so we're going to play through it. Yeah, I was curious because I heard some negative things about it. So we'll see. Yeah, it's or just fine. Or not as good as the one we played. Yeah, the one we played, I think, is better. Yeah, but we'll see. But this is still fine. It's more Marvel Champions, and yeah. it's an excuse to try some new heroes. I played the campaign, but I let the viewers, uh, or the, uh, sorry, supporters of the channel through Patreon uh, vote at the time on which hero I played solo through that campaign with. And they chose Doctor Strange. And then on stream, I got in trouble because he was too powerful for playing the, the campaign and on, on standard and all this stuff. I, did. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, it was my first time playing Doctor Strange too. I think. I was, he was like brand new to me. Uh, but yeah, he, he's a little, little, little on the strong side. A little on the strong side. So I, I don't know if uh, the, this pairing is the pairing of heroes that came in the Rise of the Red Skull box. Uh, so hopefully they work okay in it. When we played uh, Rocket the Raccoon and Groot... When before we played on stream, we were trying uh, them together in the uh, Galaxy's Most Wanted campaign, and they were fine. But I felt like it was tough for them, yeah. And I okay. feel like they needed some help. So I feel like if you had those two, and then maybe one or two other players at the table playing some other Guardians of the Galaxy, I think it's probably would feel a little bit better. But I felt like they were just missing. They had some some glaring weaknesses for that campaign. But Star Lord and Gamora, on the other hand, were pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, work, yeah, I really like together. Gamora. Yeah, yeah, those are cool. Yeah, so we're probably gonna be let down by these ones after we played some much cooler heroes in the past in in recent times. No, I'm just kidding, uh, but yeah, I want to try Hawkeye. It's our excuse to do it, so we're gonna have some fun with it. Thank you, everyone joining live. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Of course, thank you to all the people who back the channel on Patreon or who join the channel and or sorry and or who join the channel by clicking the join button down below. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Uh, without you guys, we wouldn't be adding all these games to our collection as much as we do and spending time with you guys uh, streaming. So we appreciate the support, helping the channel grow, helping get new equipment, and eventually helping fund the trips to many conventions. Hopefully by 2022, I assume now, um, is hopefully when the conventions get back to 100% in person and feel kind of like older, uh, or how conventions used to feel. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> hello, hello. Heather, yes, that's the thing that happens on the internet. Yep. You mean no Marvel Champions inside of a steel cage? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, it's just that I, what I was talking about before about like go away. It's like with every lifestyle game, I know I've maybe talked about this before, and, and, and it's a thing. I've been in lifestyle games before, and it, I've been tilted. I, I'm very much 
a player, and it goes all the way back to like uh, Game of Thrones First Edition or Warhammer Con Conquest LCG. I was the one who goes to stores, brand new stores, introduced myself to the owner, holds game nights, grabs players who just walk in. Hey, hey, sir, uh, do you and your son want to learn a new game? Sit down, let me show you. And I grow the player base. I get players hooked. I, I get them past that barrier of entry of playing games. That's what I used to do. Just spread the love, build gaming groups locally, and then thought, hey, through the power of YouTube, I can do the same thing. So I've been very anti-gatekeeper. So there are in, it's a thing in Magic. I've, I've seen it in these hardcore lifestyle games. Um, I just seen rude people in Magic was the first thing. Uh, but I never played Magic. I just met some very rude Magic players that then come over to other games and they're rude in those games too. Um, but it's like a gatekeeping thing. Like they're not welcoming to new players. They try to like crush new players. Don't want to waste their time teaching new players. This is a thing I've seen and I had a few players like that even locally that would play within our gaming group um or I just would play at the same stores that i would play at or the same uh, board game cafes and stuff and they would not take the time to teach new players a game and didn't want people to learn the cards they would try their hardest to crush them when they're teaching them and stuff like that uh and then there's just people who are rude in facebook groups and reddit groups and stuff who gatekeep in the hobby so when a new player walks in they give the new player crap for asking a new player question so instead of taking that opportunity to help them and grow the fan base which equals higher sales in your game, which equals your game lasting longer. Instead, some people attack them and that kind of stuff. I don't see it much in the Marvel groups, but it's there. Um, but it happens with every lifestyle game. So when I play a game casually on the channel where I'm not treating it as my lifestyle game, there's other things going on in my world. Uh, when I ever bring Marvel Champions, one of the games that in memory, every time I bring it to the channel and I go to play solo or I play with Mel, there's always some people that come in and start like ripping on us for not knowing these heroes or messing up rules or start spoiling things like you need to do this, you should be doing that, and this card is how you should handle it. Or and inefficient play. Yeah, there's only one way to play this game and this is what you should be doing and, and that kind of stuff. There's always somebody that does it. Um, and yeah, it, ever since I started playing this game on the channel and it's just like, go away, like I, I, I don't care. But anyways, <laughs> uh, stop gatekeeping. Anyone who does that, if you see anyone doing that in your lifestyle game hobbies of any kind of hobby, just tell them to F off and 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 invite that, those new players in and grow the hobby because selfishly, it will make your game last longer. So FYI, we've seen every single competitive LCG die to this point and uh, it, definitely players being rude online and rude to new players and not accepting of new players is, is part of that. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But it's a thing with Marvel Champions. I don't know what it is on the channel. I just have a bad taste. Every time I go to play Marvel Champions on the channel, I'm like, oh, like I want to play the game and I want to stream it and it's normally fun, but I, I have to be careful. Like, you know, I, I have to go out front and say, we're playing this casual. We, we haven't been playing every night this week. We've never played these heroes before. We're just having some fun casually playing it. So we just want to put it out there. Be nice. All right. Like offer us assistance and do it in a nice way. Um, but yeah, it's just the thing. So that's, that's my rant again. I do that. I feel like I do this every Marvel Champions video, uh, or I just get frustrated and I'm like, "That's it. I don't want to play the game. Whatever." Uh, but yeah. Yeah, we play for fun. We don't. Now, play the job. Yeah. I expect that stuff from you. That's different. That's different. No, What's no. What's the... the? What I'm talking about. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So, not saying there's always something that does it. No, the first few times I played Marvel Champions, it was like new people just showing up. People I've never seen yeah. in chat before. The uh, when the game was new. I guess people are just looking for content. And then I remember when I got the uh, Rise of Red Skull too. I hadn't played it in a few months. And I brought it back to the channel. And of course, new people showed up and they, you know, they just start, you know, saying things like, you know, being a little rude about things. And uh, yeah, but I know most people uh, generally mean good, but, and sometimes it doesn't come across good in the, in the text. That's another problem. Yeah. So when somebody says something very bluntly, I'm like, uh, <laughs> but anyways, so there you go. <laughs> Elaine, hello. Hello. Yanni plays this game every time I can. See, Yanni, but you're cool, Yanni. You're not rude about it, right? That's it's fine if it's your lifestyle game, but it's there's a very small vocal minority, and and, and I'm not just saying in Marvel Champions, and no, every funny, yeah. every lifestyle game. Mel's known. Mel's come with me to tournaments for many LCGs over the years. All competitive LCGs gone to tournaments, and there's always some a holes every tournament that are super rude thinking just because Mel's a girl, she doesn't know how to play, she's new to the game, and they're rude to her. Or yeah. if they've never seen me before, because I, I'll, I'm i I'm crazy, I'll drive like 12 hours to go play in a local 12-player tournament mm -hmm. and try to crush everybody. 
um, and I'll show up and they don't know who I am and people are just rude and you know they're they're they gatekeep they mm -hmm. they don't know I'm not new to the neighborhood I didn't move in or anything they just automatically are like rude to players and, yeah. and I've seen that a few times in different places across Canada and the US so it's just a thing and it's like why be rude like why why you know why keep your player group small like welcome new players in teach new players tell them your secrets you know share knowledge give them deck lists you know help them grow your hobby because then they start buying cards or miniatures or you know uh armies to play with whatever game or hobby it is they'll start buying into it and that means increased sales that means your game gets supported longer so yeah they also uh, show up to tournaments at the stores yeah. which then increases the chances your store will hold tournaments and hold, yeah. hold bigger tournaments yeah, mel, yeah yeah daniel mel mel won a few like there's a few game of thrones card game tournaments mm -hmm. where we drove in and we came in and there's like four players locally at that store and we pull up with like eight of our group driving in a couple cars and we come in and i see mel playing and i've turned her into a machine like put her through play testing and she comes in and yeah, she ends up winning the tournament. She has a few store championship trophies and yep. stuff from uh, Game of Thrones. I think first edition. I don't know if you won any in second edition. Because you didn't play as much I at that point. I didn't play as much at that point, no. But yeah, yeah. First, she has a few trophies and a few yeah. play, store championship play mats and stuff from uh, first mm -hmm. edition. Mm -hmm. Where we just showed up to stores for the first time and found an address on, on, a, on a sheet from FFG's website, you know. And it was like, oh, there's a tournament happening in this city. Okay, let's drive there and let's... Uh, see what they got see what these local players have and then yeah mel be in there and they wouldn't know who she is or or they just think oh this is going to be an easy yeah win, oh right? this is some girl i've yeah. never seen her playing at this store before she's probably some noob that just you know plays in her living room and yeah she plays in her living room but she plays in her living room in gauntlets yeah. you know we're, we're like playing you know meta decks and trying to crush each other yeah but, yeah. but then it also makes people <laughs> mad to yeah, lose yeah. to a girl which is also sad yep yeah. Yeah. Like when she beats me in, in like a final, <laughs> it ha this has happened. We drive to tournaments, all of our friends, and it's like me and Mel in the finals playing each other. And I'm just like, <sighs> like, I can't let her win. So I got to <laughs> But then it's like I turn her into this monster and she knows exactly how I play. And it's funny. But sometimes yeah. we get paired like first round and oh, we'd that be like. Was usually, yeah, that was uh, a lot. Yeah. 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 yeah so. If you don't realize you're a gatekeeper, some people don't realize they are, but you have to understand even you were a new player at once and even like three, four, five years into your hobby and a new player comes up at your game store or asks you online a new question or you're just hanging out in a forum and you see someone post something or a group or a subreddit or whatever and they ask a question. Don't just scroll past it. Get in there and give them your thoughts because... It goes a long way, and other new players lurk, right? And they read those uh, things. When I'm learning a game, I go in and I start clicking mm -hmm. on the new player threads and seeing if I know the answer to their questions, and I look through all the answers to see if I understand the game correctly. I don't necessarily go in and ask the new player questions because I know they're already asked. I do some searching, and I find those new player posts, and I'm glad they're there, or else I wouldn't learn as quickly and easily too. So, yeah, yeah. I think people get frustrated because new people are coming to the hobby all the time, so they're asking those same questions yep. over and over again. That's a great thing. But that's though. a good problem. Yeah, if yeah. you have new players showing up like three, four years into a into a like a lifestyle card game or something, yeah, like that's a good problem to have. Exactly. Good problem to have. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think we can get to it now. I think we get to it. So what we're gonna do here in this uh, campaign. We're doing like our own little house rule to it because we're playing on stream. Uh, we haven't scheduled the next episode or anything. It'll probably be next week. Uh, some evening around the same time this stream was uh, but we're gonna play it where we can fail once and try again on the same scenario normally you just in these campaigns are kind of like just fail and keep trying until you beat it but we are going to play it so we can fail once try it again and if we fail again our campaign's over so that's how we're gonna play it this time I, I don't know we'll try it out we'll see we'll try it out um but that's how we're gonna do it so hopefully we don't fail here or if we do fail on the first time because we're new with the heroes we clean it up we'll try again and hopefully we beat it if not this is the last rise of the red skull stream for this playthrough series and we're gonna move on and try some other heroes and play some other villains oh this is not a kind of campaign where you move on to the next one if you fail N no I mean, just like sorry, the last one total okay same with, the, remember I was complaining about that yeah. Marvel Champions. It's like so basic. Oh, I thought when you were saying we play it once and then if we fail, we, we but we would still move on. No. Oh, uh, I This is a whole different completely. way. Okay, misunderstood completely. We're doing it different this time. We're playing with okay. expert campaign. Not expert mode or whatever, expert 
level. We're not putting in the expert set or whatever and playing with level three of the villains. Okay. We're just doing the expert campaign mode for this one, which people told us to do last time or told me to do last time. So we're going to do it this time. So our health value carries over to the next scenario. Uh, we can take some bad cards into our deck to get our health back to full before the next scenario and that kind of stuff. But I am, I am adding on my own little expert thing to it is we have two shots, two shots per scenario to complete it. If we don't, we just it's end over. the campaign. If we're done, we fail, and we don't see any more, and we move on. Wow, the pressure is on. Yeah, because... Okay, okay. No, for, that's fine. That's for two fine. reasons. I don't want to keep playing the same scenario an endless amount of times. Uh, kill me now. <laughs> and two, I don't want to do the fail forward thing from like Aeon Zen, because that's also kind of lame. I want to try something different. Okay. So we're going to treat a little hardcore, where we have like a free try... And then we learn a little bit if we fail. It, we could fail at least once on every one. And then that second try is like serious business. So we can have our deck kind of crap on us once or that kind of thing. Or the encounter deck just, you know, vomit all the worst cards on us right from the beginning. If that happens, oh well. But hopefully it doesn't happen two times in a row. <laughs> that's, we'll see. But okay. Then okay, we'll move fine. on. I like it. We don't need to play this whole campaign. Uh, I'm okay. We can come back to it later with different heroes and stuff. The only reason is because we're stuck with these heroes. Mm -hmm. And I just want to try them. So I thought, but I also wanted Mel to try the Rise of Red Skull, so she sees a little bit of it, and the differences from the last campaign. Okay. But you do not need to play this whole campaign all the way through to understand how this campaign works. This, sure. This campaign is very basic, it's, you know... Unless but, we don't even beat the first one. Yeah, well, yeah, we could fail on the very <laughs> first one. Then I don't see any of the campaign. <laughs> well, no, you're going to see setup and stuff now, and, and we'll read over the victory stuff if we do fail twice, just to show you what would have happened if we went forward. Okay. And then what we'll do is after that, on the next playthrough, we'll just switch to, like, Ant-Man and Wasp, or Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver or something... And we'll just play, try two new heroes. There's a couple questions. Can we change cards or decks or any anything in between? Yeah, if yeah, if you guys okay. want to recommend and get involved, uh, if if it's the same evening, if we're doing it on the same evening that we fail really fast, and then we're like, let's just clean up and try again. If we feel like it wasn't our cards, like we're missing something. Yeah. But if we feel like our decks cannot handle that scenario, and and let's say our first attempt took like a couple hours or an hour and a half for something full. We could just talk about it at the end, end the stream, go back to the drawing board, and that second attempt can be in a different evening in a different stream. And yes, we can wait for people to comment later and recommend deck lists and stuff like that okay. if, if you guys want. Same but, heroes, though. Uh, same, same heroes, heroes yes. Just different cards. Okay. Yeah, we're going to okay. keep the same heroes going forward. I just don't know how good these heroes are for this whole campaign. They might get stuck on a specific... Like, same way with Rocket and Groot. I felt like they weren't really equipped for that whole campaign. And I don't want to just get stuck on one scenario where we're playing it like six times right. in a row, realizing yeah, it's these boring. realizing these heroes or these decks do not work for it. So yeah. okay. whatever. Okay. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah. So we're just gonna try that. We're just, it's just casual. We're just having some fun. We don't need to play through the whole campaign like we usually do on the channel. We already have a series where I played it solo on the channel that exists. So if you want to watch me struggle through that or not so much struggle, I don't remember, but uh, I think I played every scenario on that one. Because I know I wouldn't play it more than a couple times the same scenario before I just give up. Uh, but yeah, so, or maybe I house ruled that one, I don't remember. But anyways. Well, we're keeping them in suspense because some people came in after you already said who we're playing and they're super excited to find out who we're playing. Oh yeah, because I didn't put it on the thumbnail. No. <laughs> but it is down below in the video description. So you can go down there and see the deck list we're playing with. I just net decked them real quick, made sure there wasn't cards that overlapped. Because remember, we're playing with only one collection. So I can't, it's hard when I do like, uh, you know, this two awesome decks I find. And then I realize they share a whole bunch of cards. And it's like, ah, we can't play the same thing. So we're still just playing through one set. Yeah. So I'm playing Spider-Woman. Yes, and I'm playing uh, Hawkeye. You remember a lot of crying? Oh, <laughs> sounds, probably. That sounds, sounds about right. Sounds accurate, Spencer. Yeah. Sounds accurate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get to the campaign here. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna skip all the fluff. Uh, oops, oh. this wrong scenario. Wrong scenario. Where are we here? Crossbones. All right, we're playing Crossbones. Crossbones is attacking the Project Pegasus facility. All right. Uh, so we're gonna play with just the standard like villain deck. So Crossbones one and two. Um, not play in expert mode for the scenario, but we're going to play in expert, expert mode for the campaign, if that makes not sense. Not to be confused in any way. I know, it's so dumb. It's so <laughs> like, dumb. Like, why they use the same word? That's what I said before. It should be an advanced campaign and expert mode is in the scenario. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. Um, so I already put together the encounter deck. Uh, we got this experimental weapon deck, which we'll show you. And it just basically says set up the... 
The setup instructions on attack a Mount Athena 1A instruct the players to create the experimental weapon deck. To do this, take all four cards of that, shuffle them together, set them face down. Next to the main scheme deck, this is experimental weapon deck. After a card from this deck enters play, it is considered to be part of the encounter deck. When that card is discarded, it is placed in the encounter deck discard pile to come back and haunt us later. Okay. Uh, and then in setup, we recorded our identity campaign on the campaign log uh, that we printed out from BGG, uh, which we have. Yes, All right. I did that already. And then just, uh, just to show you how lame this campaign was, which it blew me away in the next one, is like, here's the victory. This is how, this is like where I just like lost all interest in Marvel Champions when this got released. Uh, the victory, you choose from like one of eight cards or something that came in the box. You pick a tech upgrade and then you record any of those experimental weapons that came out. That's it, move on. So there's no cool achievement system. There's no victory point system. There's no purchasing from like 20 something market cards. All that cool stuff they added to the next one. That's like, should have been minimum in a game in 2020 or whatever when this came out uh so yeah obviously they're at, they learned and they're adding to it so hopefully even the next campaign's even even cooler but <laughs> or at least the same level as the galaxy's most wanted so this is gonna be so like kind of straightforward with the campaign side of things yeah okay. uh because this did come out earlier in the life lifespan of the game this is came out like september 2020 or august 2020 or something like that um so it's a, it a few months back all right So, uh, I'm just going to make sure we're setting this up properly. We selected our identities. We've set our hit points. Uh, select first player. So, this is from uh, uh, Marvel Flux. Uh, this came in the box. It's like a little weighted poker chip with, like, Captain America's shield on it. It's the It's My Turn token. Oh, cool. Uh, but I just thought it's cooler. We'll use it in Marvel Champions as our first player token. Uh, because I like poker chips in my board games, if anyone didn't know. Um, so instantly, our Marvel Champions is better than yours now. Just so you guys know. Well, maybe other people are doing the same thing. N no. No? No one's, no, that, no, that. no one's that cool to also own Marvel Flux and Marvel Champions. All right? So that makes me automatically cooler than you. All right? <laughs> yeah. I'm better than you because I bought, bought Flux. Flux is... Flux, if anyone doesn't know, the Flux series is the most hardcore of hardcore games. Um... Yeah, and yeah, I'm amazing at Flux. You know, it's fully in your control. You know, your strategy and everything in that game. It's not all just randomness, mm, crazy madness or anything like that. It's not basically just a party game. Uh, that is serious stuff. And now that it has a Marvel license slapped on a version of it, uh, just makes it officially a hardcore game. Yeah. So FYI. Uh, just so you know. All right. I bought it because my daughter wanted to play it, all right? <laughs> uh, anyway. Matt also says Robbie should be a game design consultant. That's dumb. That's lame. That's a scam. <laughs> yes. That's why. Yes. No, it's, it's it, here's the thing. I, I'm being an idiot because I give out all this information for free. So any game design company just has to like sit on the channel and watch, take notes and they get all this free feedback. They don't even need to like, you know, pay, pay another con a marketing company to figure things out for them. Like, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll, I need to be like in the focus group, you know, and, and, and let them know like, no. Nope, nope, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yeah, nope, that's a terrible this, idea. This rule books, stupid. Nope. Pay for two more pages of paper in your rule book so you can put some nice descriptions and, and examples. examples. Yes. You lazy buggers. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, gosh. All right. Uh, set aside obligations. Oh, selecting first player. That's what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Is it... I don't know if it matters. You could be first. I, I, again, I, I don't know. You want uh, me to be first then? Yeah, sure. You're probably the stronger character, I think. The stronger uh, uh, hero. Remember that he said that. <laughs> yeah, so if I do better. I don't know. I feel like this guy feels like Star-Lord. He's like powerful, but he's got the low hit points. Oh, and yeah. I'm a little scared. He's like the glass cannon kind yep. of thing. Uh, feels similar. But again, I haven't played him yet. Just by but looking at his deck and his abilities and stuff. I'm worried. <laughs> I'll uh, protect you. It's fine. But your stuff, you guys... Because you can pick two different aspects. It seems like solid. Like you can put in good aggression cards. Good... Uh, Justice? Justice cards, which is like, wow. Yeah, uh, which is the two aspects that I, we have chosen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we shuffle our decks. Of course, set aside our nemesis. We did that. Yep. Collect tokens and status. Yep, select our villain. We set our villain's hit points. Yep, 24. Uh, is that 24? Yeah, because he's 12 per player. Okay. Uh, create the encounter deck. I did that already. I shuffled it a bunch, but we're going to be shuffling it again. Yep. Uh, we're going to resolve any setup instructions on attack on Mount Athena. 
So uh, the sets are there set up, and then we did the experimental weapon stuff. Okay. okay. Just shuffling this up a little bit. Yeah, I guess we can do this now. Uh, this one revealed, reveal the top card of the experimental weapons deck. This is starting with no threat on it, and once it hits six, we're moving on. Oh, so we get one of these cards right off the Yeah, off the... Uh, shuffle it though first. Oh, I this. just threw them there, but yeah, you can shuffle them and just grab one. And then it goes... We follow whatever it we says on it. what it says, okay. I think it'll probably say, like, attached to the villain or something, if I remember. Is it one of those? Uh, it's yeah, an maybe. energy shield. Attached to the villain. Attached villain gets uh, retaliate one. Oh, I hate retaliate one. But we can get rid of uh, it. We can spend uh, those two resources to energy discard and, this card. Energy and mental. Energy and mental. Okay, to discard this card. Okay, so attached okay, to the villain. Okay, that's not terrible, then. At least he doesn't get any extra attack or anything right away. No. It's just retaliate. Just retaliate one. Okay. We'll see. We might have minions to deal with in the meantime before we do that, or yeah. we can try to get rid of that quickly. So that's there. Okay. okay. Um, so we need to any set aside cards. So our obligations, if you want to put those in there and shuffle that. And then we draw cards from our deck, resolve mulligans, which we don't shuffle those back in, right? Yep. Not in this one. And then resolve character setup abilities, which I don't have this time. Do you have? No? Uh, nope. My okay. no. Hey, Daniel the Meeple Monkey. Hello, hello. Hello. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Welcome back. Uh... D. Miller says, I'm playing a four-player game online right now. We got stuck on Absorbing Man for a while. Absorbing Man. Is he in... Is he in is this? Is he in this game? Uh, again, it's I don't been a know while. Any of them, so. I know. I didn't want to look ahead or anything. So <laughs> I know Red Skull's in this one. And as we know, with your memory. There's, uh, I think, Taskmasters in this one too, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, again, I don't have a bond to a lot of the Marvel characters. When I grew up reading comics and watching the shows, I watched like the the '60s Spider-Man cartoon. Oh yeah, yeah. I watched like the '90s X-Men. I collected uh, X-Men comics in the '90s. And that was basically, I had a, like, a, I had a Spider-Woman comic. I remember my mom one time got me, like, a box of generic, like, little issue, like, first issues of a bunch of various comics when I was, like, young in the 80s, um, just to see which uh, comic characters I liked uh, to, to know oh, where like to go. Oh, like, read through and see what Yeah, yeah what just to see you? where, yeah. I, and there was, like, Batman, and there was DC and Marvel comics all mixed in there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and that's where I fell in love with Batman, was like, yeah, I was watching, like, the Batman 60s show and everything. But yeah, I was more of a DC guy, like Batman, Superman, stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Can they ever bring DC into this stuff? I mm -hmm. don't know. They could. There has been crossovers there in the past been? in the oh, comics. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're 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 competition to each other. But now with different owners and stuff, like who knows? Mm -hmm. No way! You're Meeple Monkey playing through this exact campaign right now. Not not the Galaxy's Most Wanted. I feel like we're playing through this like late again. Like yeah. we, we, I played through this before, but I was like, oh, let's play it. Let's go back and play it again. Give it another shot. But it's weird. And I saw a successful geek saying early, just got this in the mail or something. I was like, what? Are you guys like, I, I assume everyone being here going, oh, not this one again. <laughs> like I played this one to death. Play the new one again. And they announced that uh, the next one coming up, the uh, Thanos one. I'm excited for that. Oh, you got it late too? Okay. <laughs> awesome. When is that coming out this year? Uh, I think it was like August. Oh, yeah. We did talk about that. Yeah, I yeah. I think we pre-ordered it yeah, already. Yeah, I think we talked about that already. Yeah. Yep. Just forgetting. Okay. While well, you're shuffling. Oh, Kanji had to go. See you later, Kanji, if you're still here. Uh... I mean, Helicarrier is good to get off the rip here. My car is based on six. our thing, right? Oh, for me, it's six. Three, four, five, six. Uh, remove some threats. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Plus two attack. What about uh, Angela? For... Yeah. Hmm. I just know my bow or some resource generation in general. A cheap ally maybe would be good. Hmm. Playing leadership, uh, Hawkeye, by the way. And again, the deck lists are linked down in the video description if you want to look at them and follow along and give any recommendations on what I should be grabbing on the mulligan. Um, yeah. Only card, only in faction or or in hero card here i have is uh vibranium arrow but i i gotta get my bow i know i have this ability to grab the bow but obviously if i had it already i would not pay that resource i didn't nice. get any of my own cards <laughs> but that's okay i'm kind of debating actually just setting up the boot camp which can give uh 
any ally you control gets plus one attack or a helicarrier right off the right off the bat possibly playing and playing like these two cards right off the bat I think I'm gonna toss Squirrel Girl and Black Knight. I'm gonna keep the Quinjet because it uh, after your turn begins, you place a counter on it, and it builds up. And then at some point, you can spend put an Avenger in play, uh, basically for the amount of counters. So I spend one on it, but I might get to play like a four cost ally later. Uh, it seems like a decent card to get early in the game and just throw into play. Also have a genius, which will help me play this Vibranium Arrow. I'm going to spend a resource to pull my bow. I don't know how much the bow costs, Zero. It, oh, it's free to put in? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm debating keeping an ally just to have one, but I don't think I can play one on the first turn. Obviously, Squirrel Girl coming into play, dealing one damage to each enemy is better later in the game when we have some minions in play and stuff, too. And it's good to just ping off, like, a tough status card or something. Yeah. Uh, so I don't really want her right now. But I, I have a bunch of allies in here. I'm hoping to just... You know, I'll draw into some, hopefully on, hopefully on turn two. Uh, Spider Woman looks like an interesting character to manage, Mel. Good luck. Yes, thank you. I'm excited to actually to play her after playing the Gamora deck that let me play all the events out of, ho uh, yeah, out yeah. of house. Yeah, another so deck kind building. Of is, like, I like that style of being able to do multiple things. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep my hand and probably just work out these cards. Playing these all right, so I drew, I drew into Falcon, Stinger, and an Energy. So I got a, even a cheaper ally, which is fine. So at least I have some ally to put into play to help me survive a little bit. Um, the only ally I got is Angela, but that's, that's still fine. fine. I mean, she's going to search for a yep. minion. But, but she's someone to help you not die right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or take a big hit or something weird. Yeah. My th my question, though, what do you think is better? Uh, hold on. Brian oh. has Brian has some expert level advice yes, in the chat. Brian I want to hear it. Tell me. So his pro tip, super, like, man, this like is next. High level? Yeah, like next level. I didn't even, like, he just blew my mind. He says, pro tip, mulligan the bad cards and keep the good ones. Did you know this? No, I've been playing wrong the whole time. That's why we suck. Oh, man. Fine, that's amazing. Why didn't anyone teach us that? That's amazing. That should be in the rule book <laughs> with examples. <laughs> bad card. <laughs> Brian, where were you Where were you every other, all the thousand other times we had to mulligan in a game on stream? <laughs> like, that would just made it so easy. It would be so quick. We'd be into the game faster. Why didn't you tell us that earlier? <laughs> Holy crap. I love it. Such a jerk keeping secrets to yourself this long. Yeah. Pro plays. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, though, which I would... What do you think is more, more efficient? Being able to have a player draw a card? Yeah, I think that's more efficient than an ally getting plus one attack. Us being able to get more cards is yeah, better. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I can't be tied. got to be born with it. That's so true, Spencer. <laughs> more words of wisdom here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We're going to be pros in no time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Jazzy says, Brian, do you coach people? <laughs> Those kind of tips can make you a fortune, says Jazzy. <laughs> start an online business. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, I'm first. So this started with no thread on it, right? Nope. Okay. Yeah, so that's zero. Good. And it's going to go up by two. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it's going to go up by two every uh, villain phase. Okay. And once I hit six, we move on. So I don't, I don't think it's going to stay on this side for very long. Mm -hmm. But maybe he, he, maybe he's, I feel like it's crossbones. I feel like he's all about attack. And I feel like minions and weapons and things, maybe not so much about this. Yeah, yeah. But there are three levels oh, to yeah, it. Oh, there's this thing too. There are three levels. So this okay. first one might be just a quick one to get us into the real meat of things. Right. But it seems like in the, in the, in the uh, last campaign we played, the Galaxy's Most Wanted, it feels like everyone was like, 12, 15, or 12, like 16 or 20 even thread on them. This seeing a six is like uh, like a three per player. It's like, that's nothing. Yeah, it seems low, but yeah. maybe he's not all about the scheming. Maybe they're all low and, you know. That's true. Do you have this ability? I don't have. What? To, uh, the resources to get rid of that? I do not. I have. Yeah, but I'm, I'm only I'm worried just... about that when we go to start attacking him. Okay. So like, but yes, I have it, I, but I, yeah, I don't want to do it because it'd be a genius and uh, that's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah, okay, okay. So, like I'm first. Who cares about a little retaliate? That's I know, fine. I know. Oh, wait, nine health Hawkeye cares about retaliate. Okay. Okay, so my ability as an action, I can look at the top card of any deck. You're, are you drawing in any way? Mm -hmm. 
I no, have Helicarrier. I, no, I'm going to be uh, searching my deck and then shuffling okay, it. Okay, I have Helicarrier, so let me look at mine. If it's not good, I'll just let you draw with it. What? Oh. Helicarrier is not draw. It's It helps you pay for, or, pay oh, for cards. Oh, it's that one. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yes, You're thinking yes, Avengers Mansion. Yeah, I was thinking the cost. mansion. Okay. Yeah, RTFC, Mel. Yep. Uh, heal three damage. Okay. That's good. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, we are just going to pay three to play for that card. Pay three to play the card. And then, um, for free, we'll put in Angela. After Angela enters play, under your control, search the top ten cards of the encounter deck for a minion. Put it in play. Engage with you. Shuffle the encounter deck. If a minion was not put in play this way, I have to discard her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we got lots of choices here. Lots of choices. So look who has like low health, low attack, yeah. not a dirty ability. Like quick strike means this guy's fighting you right away. Oh. Uh, four, four, six, two. When revealed, what does he do? Uh, choose to either take two damage or place one threat on the main scheme. Yeah, we'll do that. Is that okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and Hydra then I bomber. shuffle these in. Yeah, because then she can just fight him right away. Or Oh, sorry, I didn't... Oh, I didn't need to flip yet, but I will. Yeah, you can play allies on your other side. Yeah. As long as you didn't use, like, a hero thing to nope, do it. Nope. Like, you could reduce her cost. Oh, she's zero, yeah, yeah. She's zero, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I will flip. Uh, okay, and... When you play an aspect, Spider Woman gets plus one Thorpe, plus one attack, and plus one defense till the end of the round. Limit once per aspect. So are you going to put threat on the main scheme or take... Oh, yeah, uh... sorry. Yes, yes, yes. I said okay. yes and then didn't do it. Yep. So shuffling the deck. Um... Hmm. Oh, we got a new subscriber, Jamie, Jamie. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the support. Okay. We're just going to use Angela to fight him. Oh, maybe put into play doesn't do it. Hold on. After Angela enters player under control, search top 10 cards in the counter deck for a minion, put it into play, engage with you. Oh, so that's different than the when reveal? I think so, right? Is that correct, guys? I, I mean, I almost oh. forget that. Yeah, I think when revealed is only when it like comes off the encounter deck, not put into play. Oh, okay. Right, Aaron? Is that right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. I, I didn't read what her thing was doing. Oh, Yanni's got to go. Thanks, Bye, Yanni. Yanni. See you later, buddy. Uh, and Dredd has a suggestion for me. You may want to grab something to keep track of your stats as they'll be changing a lot. I think I have dice if we want to use, if we need to use them. It'll just be, yeah. Oh, your stats. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I have some dice here yeah, that no, I No, you can... just need one. You just need one because it, oh, plus, yeah. it plus one's it, everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Thanks for the tip. Awesome. And Bernardo's here. Greetings from a store in Vormir having a beer with Johan Schmidt. Interesting fellow. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, so, okay. I think it's fine because I'll just thwart it away anyway so they don't necessarily want to hit. Doesn't count as played, but I think when revealed, still is triggered. Okay. okay. It's totally yeah, we'll fine. We'll do it. That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to use Angela to hit for two, which will kill him. And she will take um, consequential, that was called con con consequential damage. And then, um... oh, Jamie's using a different account. I know that name is familiar, actually. I've seen that name before. I thought so. Oh, it's actually a new phone. Been subscribed for a few years. Oh, wow! Well, Thanks for thank subscribing, you for subscribing even more. Again, <laughs> automatically just became better than all the other people only subscribe once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> and I will just Thor for. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Actually, and I guess I could have taken the retaliate. Yeah, let me actually rewind yeah, that. Yeah, that's right on there. It's fine. I should have probably flipped before I play her. Can I say I did? Because that's my bad. Because yeah, then sure. I, that'll count. So then she'd be one. So then... Um, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So then I'll... So that you played a card from your as an aspect. Yeah. So that, yeah. To make that one. Yep. Even though this would, I guess... So literally your first turn too. ever playing the hero, I guess yeah. we can let you I just take, didn't, I just take some things back. That's flip. Uh, <laughs> when your hero makes a basic attack, he gets plus two, two for the attack. This is zero. Mm -hmm. So I am attacking for four. Boom! So might as well just do that. Even the retaliative one is fine. Yep. 
Uh, oh, yeah. One. Going to ten. All right. Okay. Oh, Daniel's here with Daniel. Is, like is good with the rules so far. Everything he's usually said it seems seems legit. Uh, thanks, Daniel, for the help. Uh, Daniel says put into play does not trigger when revealed effects. Okay, beautiful. Thank Boom. you. So we don't need that on there. Welcome back. Welcome back. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so if you need the helicarrier, uh, just let me know because I have. Yeah, might as well, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'll just use it on this. Yep. Sure. Or you use it, and then mm -hmm. I put this in for him. And this is after your turn begins. So I got to wait on that. Just going to throw in some Quinjet. Um, oh, let me... Oh, do you need to? No, it's fine. Uh, I'll spend one resource. I'm going to throw away Falcon. I know, I know. Uh, as a resource of any type. Uh, to search my deck and discard pile for Hawkeye's bow, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. D. Miller says, I read the put into play rules and it doesn't specify the when revealed status. Where does mm -hmm. it say that? And Scott just joined us evening all. Hello, Scott. Hmm. Daniel, do you know where it says that? This debate comes up like all the time and it's a thing in like FFG games. This I remember from playing like Thrones and stuff in tournaments like cards would react different if they were put into play yeah, or versus, played. Yeah. Played or put into play is different. Revealed is different. Like, everything trigger, triggers things differently and, and stuff like that. Like, you just have to know for the game, like... So, Jamie um, must be someone that we've played with before. Uh, Millennium opened their gaming room a few weeks ago, if you haven't heard. Now we just need the border to open. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, Agreed. for sure. Have we, we played with you there, Jamie? I can't put a face Maybe to Jamie just knows that we've been there. Or, yeah. But yes, I'm sorry, Jamie, if we don't remember. Yes, I'm sorry. I can't put a face to the name. It's been a while since we've been there. Like, we, we stopped by. I think the last time we stopped by was, like, 2019. Yeah. We were on a camping trip. Uh, down in the area, like an hour away, we it was raining one day, and we drove in, took our daughter there for the first time to show her the giant wall of puzzles. Yeah. And, uh, and just all this. All games. the cool, man, that's just yeah. one of the coolest gaming stores I've ever been to. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Millennium Games in Rochester, New York. If you're ever in that area, Travis, the owner, amazing dudes, the staff, all amazing. Uh, the players there, uh, equally as awesome. And, uh, yeah, so welcoming, so nice to, uh, the Canadians when we all come down to try to kick your butts at whatever tournament we're playing in um uh, but yeah oh jamie that. might be on our side jamie are you on our side you're going to with the border closed yeah so jamie might be on our side oh okay yeah we went in like i think 2019 maybe it was even like earlier than that but yeah we went in one night just to like shop i haven't been there for a tournament in like since like probably 2018 or something yeah, it's been a bit it's been a, been a bit Okay, so there's a little more information on this. Uh, Tetra said, it would only trigger if the text on Angela said, reveal the top 10 cards and choose a minion. Uh, after Angela enters play His under search. your control, search. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. And then if an encounter card with the when revealed ability is put into play without being revealed, then the when revealed trigger does not trigger page 33. Boom. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, Aaron, too. Thanks, everyone. Yes, but yeah, you. feel free to discuss, like, uh, we got some experts in the chat. Who were super cool, know all the rules like pretty quick. Uh, so yeah, if you guys aren't unsure with this game, uh, and you're like us and don't play it like all regularly or just play it on your living room table, you know, don't really play with like, you know, other players all the time or play with people online and that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, feel free to ask questions about any. If you're not sure how a card works, like well, yeah, we we don't mind. It's not delaying the stream or anything. Uh, we're good. Again, if you're looking for a very succinct, edited, quick and dirty playthrough with no interaction. Uh, Dale, the casual gamer, friend of the channel, awesome dude, mm -hmm. uh, plays this game a lot on his channel. I watch his videos. Mm -hmm. You should too if you're looking for quick playthroughs. But here we do it live and we have the advantage of interacting on the fly and getting into rules discussions and stuff. And I love doing that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes so, we get distracted. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love arguing over which is the right rule and challenging FFG's rules reference guides and showing us the answer in a timely manner and stuff like that. So yeah, feel free to ask questions and we'll, we'll rifle them off and discuss them in the chat. And we're not experts for this game, FYI. No. Nope. We played it a bunch, but we, we always take too much time in between playing and, and play other games and kind of forget. Yeah, or they get mashed together with yeah. other rules. Uh, so Hawkeye's bow is restricted, uh, so only max two restricted cards per player. Your hero gets plus one attack, and each of your arrow attacks gains ranged. 
So that means that when I do an arrow attack, it ignores his retaliate. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like this hero should be included in the same box this guy comes in because they have cards that work and counter each other. So that's good. <laughs> okay, so that'll just come into play, right? Yep. Hawkeye's bow. Uh, I'm going to flip. I don't think I have any. Yep, nope. Uh, okay. Uh, so we got the bow, which I will just throw here. I can shove it's over fine. a bit. It's fine. It's fine. No, no. I can shove over. Okay, uh, so that's that. I am going to... I paid this guy for that. Then we're going to... Mm, I don't know a way to play Stinger. Did not think this through. Either way, I'm going to do the attack. Uh, oh yeah, I do have a way. I have enough. So I'm going to spend energy to play a Vibranium arrow. My first arrow here, I'm excited. I love Ranger characters in like fantasy games. So Hawkeye seems like he should be right up my alley. <laughs> uh, hero action attack. Exhaust Hawkeye's bow. Done. Okay. <laughs> Deal six damage to an enemy. This attack gains piercing. He doesn't have a tough card, so that's all good. Okay, so six. Um, so six. And it gains range, so I don't get retaliated on. Fourteen. Okay, uh, this gives me plus one attack. I don't need to ready Hawkeye's bow. I don't have any other arrows. I don't have his quiver, storing arrows, or anything like that. Hopefully I get to do that at some point. Uh, but he has plus one attack. So I am going to just attack for three and take a little retaliate back for eight. Uh, I'm down to eight health, sorry. Uh, then I'm just going to use Genius to play Stinger. Uh, it's a little overplay, but uh, I just she's just a meat shield. I'm going to throw her in front. can only play her if I have the uh, Avenger uh, trait. And Stinger does not count against my ally limit. Well, good thing, because I have so many allies right now. Oh, yeah. What is the ally limit? Three. Three, 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 three. Three, three in this game. Okay. By default. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. Okay. He's down to 11. Uh, this, I don't need to thwart. I don't think I want to attack, because she'll just die. Yeah, yeah, If you want to use as a... So I'm just going to leave her. Uh, or him. Or him, I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah. All right. So okay. we... Discard any number of cards. Yep. Draw, draw, draw up. To your hand side. Mine's five. Three, five. four, five. And then unexhaust. Ooh. I got a sonic arrow and a cable arrow. So I can remove some threat and I can confuse him. So I might be able to flip and heal if I need to. So he won't be scheming as much. So I guess she's saying that the plus would be till the end of the round. This would yep. be the end of the round, right? Because then we're going to go to the villain phase. Or yep. the end of the round when it's back around to our turn again. Uh, back around, right? Okay. So going to a villain phase is still part it's, of yeah, this round. Yeah, it's a second half of okay, the round. So she basically. still has plus one defense if I need to. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, place threat on the main scheme. I got it. You got it? Yep. All right. Okay, the villain's going to attack. Uh, you first. Me first. Yep. So deal a boost card. Yep. I was just looking at that. He's just retaliate. Yeah, and he has piercing. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Let's read him. Oh, I yeah, forgot I about his thing. I don't remember what it is. Uh, so he just schemes for one, attacks for one. He's a Hydra mercenary. Uh, when he attacks, though, while Crossbow has a weapon attachment. Oh, That is weapon. the weapon. Oh, oh. Maybe we should have gotten rid of it. I, I couldn't. Uh, his attacks game piercing. Oh, we don't have tough status cards, so we're good. Oh, it doesn't so change it. it. Yeah, so okay. if, if we were playing, like, uh, throwing tough status cards all around, um, then he's going to rip right through those, so. Okay, well... Uh, I guess he's just hitting for one. I think. Do we just throw Angela in front? That's, I a, mean, that's up that's, to you. That's a it's probably a smart play. So one, three total. Oh yeah, that's just yeah, loose. just loose. So she is. Oh no! Going to the, the graveyard. <laughs> All right, you. Uh, yep. I'll just uh, lock with Stinger. A three. Oh, Holy! Yeah. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, big hits. So that's four attack. Wow. He's already starting out hot. Okay. Uh, okay. Counter cards. Uh, so oh, yeah. Do yourself one, deal me one. I don't like this game. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, reveal. Oh, oh no. He attacks you again. Uh, yep, the villain attacks you. Okay. That's fine. So deal um, a boost, and then you decide what you're going to do. Yep. And I feel like... You have four defense right I now. I have a heal three. You have four defense right now. Use that as a resource for I something else. four? I have two. What? Didn't you just say this goes till the end of the round? 
Yeah. Oh, didn't you? Oh, sorry. I yeah, thought you I only I, played one. Oh, I thought you played a whole bunch. Sorry. No, they were all uh, only cards I played were red cards. Really? But isn't that doesn't that trigger? These paid for. Oh, okay. These three cards paid for. Oh, I only okay. played red cards. Oh, you only but you did two, right? Interrupt. When you would play an aspect card, you did two aggression. So this should have gone to oh, three then. I get it. I thought you did one more. Maybe no, you didn't. No. Okay. I thought you did no. four, like three cards, so you would have been plus. Oh, so it's you not actually had... one. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, yes. I thought it was. So would this have? I don't think it would have added the extra attack. Well, I played that on the attack that I did. It is an interrupt. Like I played Angela first, went the got the one, and then mm. I played this one. Because once maybe per aspect. So that's how I thought it oh, was. Oh, is it? Too. Oh. When you play oh, an aspect sorry. card. Yes. I thought it was limit one. Oh, yeah, okay. One. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought that, gotcha, too. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to say, okay, no, no. Thank you, Drazzy. No, thank, thank you. you. I, that's what I thought, too. Okay. And Again, I thought I was doing have, it wrong. I haven't played her before, so I'm, I'm not used to this, but... Yeah, uh, I was like, I thought I can only do it once to make uh, it, like, a max okay. of four. So if you... The idea is you want to play, like, all... Multiple. Yeah, all yeah. different ones. Okay. Yeah, so my defense right now is two, wow. but I do have a heal three, so we I... also defend for two. I also defend... For, yeah, but then if I leave her standing, then... I know. Yeah, I'm going to not defend. Uh, After you hitting, just saw what he did, he's hitting for Go one. Ahead. Oh man, he's hitting yep. for four. Yep, this is what he does. One, two, three, four. I'm at six. That's okay. I do have some heal. Okay, I'm gonna remove that now because my encounter is done. Go ahead. Uh oh, uh oh, mm he's -hmm. got a machine gun now. Oh my goodness. Attached to crossbones. You're gonna put uses on it of four because two per player. Uh, forced interrupt when crossbones attacks you remove one ammo counter from this card and discard the top card of the encounter deck take indirect damage equal to the number of boost icons on the discarded card so if you want to attach that to him yeah. so he's going to be attacking for attack plus a boost plus whatever shows up off of that card and that's indirect damage so you can't just overspill it so we need to get rid of this one really but really we can't. oh we can't we just no, gotta we just, just gotta take we it just gotta take the, t the attack oh no when right. he attacks remove one gotta stun this guy or something okay i don't, I don't think I... I can do that or we just gotta kill him quick oh i can oh all right all righty okay so then sorry then uh pass first player token yay okay um so let's see here i have no allies now i'm a little scared but i might flip and confuse him if i can do this right I really want to play all of these cards and they all cost two. All right, I'm going to throw away Inspiring Presence to pay for um, an ex Expert Marksman. So I can exhaust that to generate a resource, uh, a wild resource for an arrow event, which I have two arrow events. Okay. Uh, oh, start of my turn, I'm going to put a little token on this. Uh, hmm. Okay, I am going to... Oh, there's no oh there's start on the main scheme. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to exhaust this isn't where to Okay, I'll do the sonic arrow. So I'll exhaust this. I'll toss this to play Sonic Arrow, which is a uh, uh, I gotta do the bow. Lost Hawkeye's bow. Confuse an enemy. I got it. Okay. Uh, next time the character would thwart, right? Yep. And no uh, scheme. Scheme or whatever. Yep. Sorry. Uh, deal three damage to him if he can. And if he was already confused, it would have done five damage instead. And then I have this one. Uh, but all it does is remove three threat. So I, I don't know if we care, or I just attack him for three. I think I'm just going to attack him for three. Down to five. And then do you get retaliate on this one because this is yep. not an arrow? Correct. Yeah. So retaliate down to seven. And I'm going to flippity flip. Mm -hmm. 
And that is that. And I'll just hold this right. Okay. Unless you want to... Oh, no, I don't care. Nope. Okay. I'm going to spend one, uh, two to play that one. That will give me... So this pheromones, uh, stun and confusing. I know if I went first, it's annoying. Yeah, if you went first, that would yeah. be amazing. I would have been doing, doing yeah. an extra couple damage to him. So just get to stun him. Yeah. He's already confused. And that gave me one. So we have like a almost a no worry turn. But again, he could draw on counter cards that can make him scheme or attack again. Mm. So he's not completely nerfed probably, but... Okay, so... We can only hope. I have... These two cards are the same. I'm going to use two cards to pay for something here. I'm just not sure what. This first card lets me heal three damage. And I give get a tough status card. Also, this one lets me deal five damage to an enemy, which would kill him and flip Start to the other the side. Are we okay to go to the next side I don't already? Know. We can look. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, it doubles his attack and scheming, and he still does the piercing thing. It also says, when revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a machine gun. Attach it to crossbones. Is that what he got already? Yeah, he already yeah. has oh, it. Oh, he already has that. Okay. So uh, and then it's, yeah, so I, I don't think he'd have another one. Maybe he does. But I think it's unique, no? Yeah, oh, it's, yeah unique. it's unique. Yeah, yeah. So there's only one, I think. Um, and then, yeah, you just shuffle. So if we do that right now, it's, it's there already. It's not going to do anything different. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's you. That's up to you. So I could... If we're going to rush him, that's that's fine. Because he's stunned. Oh, I got another subscriber. Steve, Steve thank you thank so you. much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. welcome. I could... I could use these two to pay, <clears throat> excuse me, that would also bump me up again, because that's another aspect card. He's stunned, so uh -oh. I could... Uh, Drazi says, given your comments about rules lawyers earlier, do you want us to point out... Yeah, please, yeah, Drazi. Yeah, make a mistake 100%. Yeah, 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 point out the rules mistakes. What did we, what did we yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure if we made a mistake, yes. Just don't be mean about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all I was saying, don't be mean, that's all. <laughs> I should probably wait in case it's me. Yeah, feel free to... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let us know. Let... Again, we haven't played in a couple weeks, and we don't play this game that often, obviously. Um, we're just getting back into it again, so... And we've never played these heroes. Oh, it's got B's... Uh producer thing refreshing or is that new nope, that's, that's new. new that's a new one yes. Scott B, thank you so much for becoming a producer thanks for hitting the join button thank you thank you thank you so much that's awesome uh your bow makes your ranged attack sorry your bow makes your arrows range attack so no retaliate when arrow attack yeah that yes. i know yes but this so i i did his... i've done twice uh, once each round i did just uh my basic attack and and that i took retaliate on so that's oh, there. Oh, there delayed, there's the, delayed there we go. Thanks, Thank you, Scott. Scott. Thank you so much. Uh, but I'm at seven out of nine because both rounds I decided to do an attack since I didn't need to ready the bow again. I just attacked. So hopefully that's correct. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, because your first one you didn't take the retaliate, the second one you did. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. didn't take retaliate on any of the bow, uh, uh, the the arrow attacks though, because uh, I do know I get piercing. But we definitely need to get rid of that thing at some point. Okay. Must have missed that. Okay, yeah. no problem, no problem. It's all, no, it's all good. Bring it up, like I said before. Bring up rules, questions, discuss it, ask in the chat in general. And, you know, even if we don't notice it, like, you guys feel free to have discussions about whatever. Yeah. You know, even things you would have done differently or, and all that stuff. Because people can watch this later and still turn on the live chat and, like, follow along and stuff. So, you know, if there's some way, like, you know, it, after I play my turn, if you're or even during my turn, recommend, like, Rob, I would have played this maybe and did that. Like, you know, we're, I'm new to Hawkeye. I've never played this deck before. I've played a bunch of these cards that are in the deck from leadership, but again, as I didn't build this deck, I just net deck quickly today, and uh, this is my first time really playing this deck, so and my first time with Hawkeye cards. We're just having some fun with it, mm -hmm. so hopefully we we can get up to speed with these two heroes before the campaign starts getting real sweaty. Yeah, um, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going with the damage, so I'm gonna spend yeah. these two cards. Get them playing a Venom Blast. That is my second aspect. So that goes to two, doing five damage. Okay, so he's down to zero. Boom. And this one's gone. Let's throw yeah. that up here. And now this comes out, and we said when revealed, you're going to search the encounter deck and discard pile. Do I still do it? Yeah. Just in case? Yeah, you can just do for it and fail. For the machine, uh, the machine gun. Crossbones machine gun. 
this would be on the side. Uh... I don't think there is one. I'm pretty sure there's only one. But yeah, you can totally search and then just fail the search. You still have to shuffle that deck. Yeah, though. nope. Oh, was the... Uh, go, go. What were the next two, uh, oh. next two encounter cards? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, the villain. Oh, villain schemes, which he wouldn't have. Oh, uh, yeah, he would have. And then no, no, no. He's uh, confused and stunned. These probably would have been these encounter would be cards. Encounter cards, yeah. So then he would scheme, which is yeah, yeah which, which would is, be fine. Yeah. No, it's bad. You don't but, want him ever I mean, doing but, extra anything. Yeah, true. But I still might war. I still might. But the third card down was the uh, the one that brings in your, your crappy yeah, uh, your... nemesis set. <laughs> so yeah, no, no, no. Shuffle that one to the bottom. Personally, I would try winning, but that's just me. Thanks, no, I know, but I don't know which one is going to lead to the victory. Having the health or putting the damage on him now. But well, I don't want to pay two cards that do five damage to an enemy to give myself three health. I feel like that's dumb. Because I had to use another one that... you got to watch your health. If you're dying in the scenario, we could be we could be done. I know. If he wasn't stunned, I think I would have made the other option. Mm. But because, he, because I was able to... He might still attack you, and I we know. both don't have allies in front of us. I know, I know. I'm a little, a little worried that I, I threw all this. Sorry, guys, I threw all you allies away at the beginning. <laughs> People Monkey says, glad to see the cards of the campaign is going to get sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, he's going to go to 28 health now. And I still have an action with my hero, uh, which I probably should just thwart. 28. Yep. Yeah. I probably should just thwart for safety because I don't really want to take a retaliate right now. I've never been able to get rid of that. I haven't known how. It to... also keeps us from going to the yeah. next one. Most Let's likely. just thwart, which I have three, but I'll just remove the two. You could also flip into a heal. No, no, I don't want to both do the heal at the same time. Oh, okay. Because yeah. he's stunned, so I'm that, gonna take fine. my chances. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, stunned. Yeah. That's fine. I don't know. Yep, that we'll makes see. sense with what we'll status he has. Okay. We're done. Uh, we are done. Discard any number of cards from your hand. Uh, I'm gonna discard this cable arrow. Draw up. And I'm gonna draw up to six because I'm flipped. Three. Ooh, electric Four, arrow. Five. Mm. Oh, I got a stun arrow. Stuck on the yes, page. yes. Oh, yes. Stun him. Get him. Yeah. Oh, Nick Fury. Nice to see you. Oh, I got, I got lots of yellow. Oh, look, I have a, a card. <laughs> I have a Spider Woman card. Ready for action. Give an ally you control a tough status card. Oh, cool. Except for he's Jimmy Piercing over here. <laughs> uh, until we get rid of those weapons. So that tough status card, not really that great. All right. Well, I can. I got lots of lots of thwart stuff I can do. So I got all yellow cards this time. Yeah, but you need okay. the scheme. And he, I know. He, he, he will. He will in a second. I, I don't know. Uh, and then ready. All right. Villain phase. Uh, we're putting two on here. Yep. Okay. He's uh, looking at me, and oh, yeah. he removes his uh, purple card there, the confused. Yep. And then he looks at you, and he, he removes, removes the this. stun. But he also has to remove this, or no? No, because I don't think so. Because he didn't attack? Yeah, yeah. I, think the it's next time I, think, I think it cancels the whole attack and like replaces it. Yeah, the next time this character yeah, would attack, discard the status card yeah, yeah. instead. Oh, man. All right, encounter cards, if you want to yep. deal one to me Here and deal first. one to you. It was very weird not getting, like, four encounter cards, by the way, after playing Star-Lord so much. <laughs> uh, this feels like I'm cheating. Oh, no! An obligation. Give to oh, the Jessica no. Drew player. Anyone here playing Jessica oh, Drew? Oh, that's me. Anybody? Oh, here you go. That's this me. This is for you. Thank you. Okay, I may flip to Alter Ego. Uh, choose Exhaust Jessica Drew, remove Uncertain Loyalties from the game, or place three place three threat on the main scheme and disc... Oh, that's not terrible since I have a handful of yellow cards. Remove a total of three threat from among schemes in play. Remove. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Are you, are you okay with that? You do whatever you want. Uh, well, you're doing that. Yeah, I'm going to just do that because, yeah, I feel like I can remove it's, that. It's your, and you, we are it's still, your obligation. Uh, don't, we're still one away. Don't but, put your baggage on me there, Jessica Drew. But listen, if... Did you flip? No, I, I, I it's you may. Yeah, yeah, but look, you have to exhaust Jessica Drew to remove it from the game. Yeah. Which, you're not Jessica Drew. Right, I'm not doing or that. Or you place three third on the main scheme and discard it. So it will, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and it could come back around again. Yeah, but I don't FYI. want to flip. But I'm that's just fine. I'm just letting you know here, we're one away from this going off. That's fine. If this triggers that. But I, again, okay. while you're doing your turn there, I just want to answer D. Miller's asking, have oh. you guys played any of the scenario packs like Green Goblin? So while you're doing your turn, uh, so read your cards, figure out what you're doing. No, I'm doing this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, whatever you're doing. Oh, but, the villain. Okay, so I am in hero. Uh, the villain and each minion engage with you attacks. Sorry, D. Miller. I'm trying to answer you here, but Mal just like... Doesn't, doesn't want to let me. But I anyways. thought you were telling me go. Yeah, yeah, but you don't have to like talk while you do it. Just do it. That's okay. All. Get okay. it? 
Get sure. it? You just flip it and you just do it and we oh. can see you. Okay. Anyways. Uh, yes, I played Green Goblin. I played both of them on the channel. Solo, I think. I don't know if Mel played with us. Do you remember ever playing against Green Goblin? Norman Osborn flipping. Good... There was like a risky business one and yes, something else. Yes, yes, I did. I think we did. We probably have playthroughs of that. Just look uh, down in the video description. There's playlist links for all the different playthroughs we've done in the different campaigns and things like that. You can just browse through that to see all of our Marvel Champion stuff. But again, some of that stuff, we, we, we took a break for a while and didn't play. So some of it's like a while ago. We kind of don't really remember. Uh, but we do plan on playing some of those some of those standalone scenarios and grabbing some of the scenarios out of the campaigns and playing them standalone uh, and trying out some different heroes going forward. So every week or two, we're going to keep playing Marvel Champions as a plan, trying out some different things. So No, Janet, I know, <laughs> I know. I'm just joking around. Well, that's because I didn't want to just go. I was just going to answer him quick while you were just doing like one thing. I didn't want you to freeze and like stop what you were doing. I didn't want to interrupt you too I much. I know, but, but then I'm like, now I'm doing an attack and I have to get rid of things. So yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm getting rid of one of these now. I shouldn't have interrupted. It's no, my no, bad. No, no, no. That's okay. That's no, okay. no, seriously. If it was something silly, but now he's going to attack me yeah. again. And now there's comes the pressure. Okay, so I removed one of these, but it says uh, when he attacks, you remove one ammo counter from this card um, and discard the top card of the encounter deck so that's separate from this yes okay yep, well, that's that. that uh take indirect damage equal to the number of boost icons on it so i am going to defend myself for three his attack is two so i think it happens first oh so, that happens yeah. before forced interrupt so you're gonna flip that first and indirect damage has to be two. done oh that's a nice one to yeah one two so i'm at four okay. so now i will defend for three on this attack of two Plus one, three. I block it all. Okay. Nice. That's good. Okay. Okay. And then that's gone. What's my encounter card? You gave it to me. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It was all your deal. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm sorry, Brian. I know. There yeah. was a time, though, that I don't think I did that. I think we just, yeah. like, yeah, it's come with. I just thought I could. Sure. An, I thought I could answer <laughs> the question while you're just like, because you started looking at your hand when I first was going to answer the question, and you were like, you were like looking through your hand, and I was like, okay, yeah, you do that while I answer the question, but then you just started talking over me, and I was like, wait, what? I didn't know you were like, going to answer. Not, the I'm giving you a cue here, like take your time <laughs> while I answer the question. I was looking at my hand because if I put the threat, I needed to see how much yeah. I could remove. So I threw you so the you cue threw, of you like, okay, take your time. I'm going to buy you some time here while you make your decisions. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah. We weren't, we weren't playing well off each no, other there. I wasn't sure. looking at you to find... Yeah, yeah. that's funny. Anyway, uh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Worst co-hosts ever. I know, right? Anyways. Okay. <laughs> I'll take this, though, now. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> was there a chance to cheat? <laughs> I know, it was. It's like, Mel, do whatever you want. I'm going to distract <laughs> the stream. They would have let it go. Just start looking through your deck for cards, switching things around. Yeah, they would have let it go. Look at me. Look at me. Pay attention over here, everybody. <laughs> okay. So now what's happening? We did encounter phase, pass first player token. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going. going. I'm going. I'm going. This is no longer co-op. Oh, this is long. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use a strength to play for, play a finesse. Sorry. Buy some space. Above. Yeah, yeah. So I can exhaust finesse to generate a wild resource for an aspect for an aspect as, an aspect card. Okay. Um, we both have uh, cards to help us pay for stuff that we are good at. Mm -hmm. But now here's the thing. Oh, man, do you have a way to get rid of this yet, or no? I always have a way to get rid of it. Oh, okay. Do this I is want the first to? time that I do, but uh, I have I'll, other things. I, just remind me on my turn. I'll do it. Okay. Because I have Nick Fury. I can draw a bunch of cards, too. So okay, I, okay, I'll have okay. something. That's fine. Okay. So if we can just win and take a bit of retaliate, that's good, too. But. Um. Okay. So I so again, can... Again, you're on four. Oh, wow. Huh? You're yeah, I'm going to flip, though. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but... Okay. <laughs> Play no, finesse, I, you won't regret it. I, I played I played it already. I've already oh, done okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was already top. It's still of, early enough. It's still pile. early enough, I think, a resource card to be worth it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Especially having two uh cards that help me pay for things. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna use finesse 
Oh, which one so do I next want? time I answer a question yeah. uh, and start talking to the chat, remove that machine gun and just throw it off the table. Okay, okay. They won't notice. Done. I'll just, every time, All just right. start taking tokens off. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> flick some tokens away from it. I don't just know Just quick, quick hand movement. Just pew! Okay. I'm going to use Finesse to pay for Inconspicuous, which is a... Oh, oh yes. This does count as a Justice card, so this is one. Um... Remove a total of three threat from among schemes in play. Okay. That. And then I think I put Quake in play for... Well, Mink. there's some protection. For yeah. some for protection, yeah. Remove two threat from a scheme if I paid for this using a mental resource. Remove two threat from a different scheme. But I think that's I think getting allies in play, yeah. we see he does indirect damage already. That's good to have allies yeah. help soak that. So, Otherwise, you take it all. Yeah, let's... Use Helicarrier and Multitasking to pay for Quake. And I could... I don't really want to attack. Do I? No, because they should get Retaliate too and then she'd be dead. So we're going to... Uh, after a minion schemes, exhaust Quake to deal two damage to that minion. Oh, that's good. I am going to flip the top card of any deck. Huh. I don't think I did miss a, a Quinjet token, actually, Bob. Because uh, on the first turn I play it, I don't get one. On the second turn, I got one, and I haven't taken my turn yet. This this third uh, this is the third turn, I think. I think we've only been through. I'm just looking through my deck. I have Mulligan. I have one turn worth of cards. Yeah, this two is, turns worth of cards. This is my third turn, so you haven't had a third turn. Yeah, yeah so yeah, I haven't yeah. had a third turn. The first turn I wouldn't get a token on it. Second turn I would. And now I am about to start my third turn once Mel's done. Then yeah. I'll get a second token. Um, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Tom, just to let you know, Jessica Drew's obligation is in there. Yes. Yes. Yep. Uh, okay. Um, I think she's, I think I'll do nothing with her. Because if she survives, then we can... Yeah. So you can deal two damage to a minion when he schemes on my turn. I am done. But to be fair, Bob, I probably would have forgot it this turn anyway. So <laughs> you're still you're still correct. You saw the future. <laughs> I would have probably noticed it mid-turn. Whenever I go to play an ally, I would look down on it and be like, oh crap, I don't have enough tokens on there yet. Uh are you good? I'm I'm good. You're not I'm gonna good. do anything here? No. Okay. Because I don't want her to, I don't want her to die yet. Start of my turn, Quinjet. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna Do they eat donuts in Canada? Are you kidding? <laughs> We, okay, no, I'm not even going to go into Don't even get me started. I know, I was looking at what they're talking so, about cookies. I want to read what you're talking about. Yeah, Matt's, Matt's of course, talking about making cookies and oh, trying Matt's to get, you know, as people are drooling now, making me want some cookies. Now I want donuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, it's National Donut Day, I saw. Oh, is it really? Yeah, it is. Google uh, it. I saw it somewhere. Yeah, I was going to say that. Look up Tim Hortons. Uh, it's a Canadian company. I used to work for them for like 10 years. Uh, just read all about Tim Hortons. They're in the U.S. They're all around the world now. But yeah, they're just, yeah, go read about Tim Hortons. Yeah, it's like a Canadian icon. And it's like they started off just selling like donuts and coffee. It's like a huge thing. And then there's so many other spin-off stores and other stores that are, you know, doing that kind of stuff too. Yeah. All right. Um... I want to play Nick Fury. So I'm going to spend. I'm just trying to debate which arrow to keep. Or If you can't do that, I think we're still fine. Like, retaliate one as long as we are Is he an Avenger it. ally? No, he's a shield spy. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is what I was asking um, before I got distracted. I can look at the top of one deck. Should I look at the top of this one? Sure. Especially if this indirect damage uh, thing? Yeah, sure. Do whatever. It's only a one. This will be for, I think, the indirect damage. So, okay. just to know. Sure. Okay. Uh, all right. So, I'm going to throw a Goliath. Mm. Goliath. Ready for action. That's two. Uh, confusing him is not my concern. And dealing six damage or stunning and three damage. 
I'm gonna go with the keep the stun. I'm gonna throw away a vibranium arrow. I don't think I should, but I don't have another way to get a resource. I want to play Nick Fury. Yeah, as a, yeah, I want to stun him. Oh, okay, so I play Nick Fury. He comes into play. I'm gonna draw three. One, two, three. Okay, not great. Um, now I'm going to toss a little crazy, but I'm going to toss endurance and make the, uh, if you don't want to get rid of it, it's fine. We're still doing fine with the retaliate. Yeah, true. So if, if it's better to get it in play, that stuff, then do it. No, uh, yeah. Endurance would be huge or the arrow and they're two lightning resources, yeah, right? No, then don't and put endurance into play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 so I'll put endurance into play. I get plus three hit points. So I'm going up to 10 here, max of. Uh, plus three, so a max of 12. Okay, uh, then I'm going to reduce the arrow, exhaust this, uh, play this to do the electric arrow, which exhausts Hawkeye's both stun an enemy and deal three damage to it. Uh, oops, I, I was flipped already. Flip, flip, flip. Yep, forgot to flip, forgot to flip. I was flipped. Um, did you not need to recover? Oh, because of the endurance, no. right? Oh, that's well, right. I wouldn't have done it anyway. I was debating, but mm -hmm. I was like, eh. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I will... Yeah, I'll attack for three. Uh, down to 22. I take a retaliate. It's just a regular attack. Uh, Nick Fury... Just gonna have him attack. Do you have tokens over there? Uh, he's down to 20. And yep. And then he takes a retaliate and a consequential damage. But we all know what he's gonna be used for. And that is my turn. Okay. Uh, uh, draw discard up. and draw up. Yeah. Uh, so I get you out of six. Okay. Oh, yeah, lots of resource ones. That's good. Explosive arrow. Look at this one. I could uh, deal three damage to the villain and each minion engage with the player after I choose a player. Ooh. That's cool for minion heavy scenarios. I got another one. Stun and confuse an enemy. Again, you're going to be first player. I don't know if that can work out for you, anyways, but okay. <laughs> of all right, uh, villain phase. So we're going to throw uh, he is you were first. I'm first. He is going to scheme. Yep. So we're probably going to advance on this. Uh, so it is two, two three. Oh, which does it. Yeah. And yeah. then after. Oh, that's a min not a minion. Never mind. So we're advancing. Here. All right, the Infinity Stone. When revealed, reveal the top card of the Experimental Weapons deck. Oh, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, I don't like this deck. Oh, so we're gonna put two on it to start, and when it hits twelve, we advance even further. I didn't know it was that serious, or I would have thwarted with Nick Fury. Oh, okay, we got a laser rifle attached to the villain. Force interrupt when attached villain attacks. The attack gains ranged. And we have to spend again the lightning and the physical resource to discard this card. And Damn. it's going to do a plus, a plus one on this attack. I think those punish us. Like, I think those stay going forward. Like, because we've seen two now, oh. I feel like those get recorded in the log or something. They come back? Yeah, I think they're going to haunt us oh. for like the rest of the play. Why do we play this game? I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I just wish I remembered or knew that that was there. Oh. I would have been so aggressive on keeping threat off. I was going to do it with Nick Fury, but I'm like, it's I know, fine. especially because he's stunned, so he, he's not going to attack. I mean, there's encounter cards, so it's yeah, yeah. Be, but... uh, I'm still yep, just yeah. in case. Could be okay. a villain that quick strikes or something. I just don't need that in yeah. my life. All right. So... Okay, so he's going to attack you, yep, but he's cool. done, so that goes okay. away. Deal out encounter, encounter cards. cards. I was first, followed by you. Oh, the villain schemes. They would have gone anyway then. I know. Yep. So two plus a boost. Uh, if you are in hero form, the villain attacks. If uh, do not, yeah, I'm not. What? Read it. What's it say? I want to hear it. 
If you are in hero form, the villain attacks you after this activation. Do not reveal a boost card for that attack. Okay. But I'm not. Sorry. I was like reading it like blah, blah, blah. So how much goes uh, on that thing? Two, please. Okay. Four out of twelve. All right. What do we got here? Oh, more attachments. Oh, my God. Attach for the villain. Force interrupt. When attached villain attacks, the attack gains range. Hydra sidearm. Another oh, plus wait. attack. Can we get 20 damage on him? Maybe we can just take he him out get, this turn. He's becoming Voltron dude Jeez, here. Jeez, sir. And yeah, he's going to be dealing mad damage. Yeah, we got to just finish him quick. Yeah. Or just never be in hero form so he's not attacking us. Oh, and then I pass that to you. Right, first well, I can stun him and confuse him again, but I mean, that yeah, doesn't yeah. help. Oh, that helps. That's a... Oh, I can get rid of... I'll get rid of one of them, I think. Nick Fury is gone. Yeah, I'll get rid of one of them. Okay. So let's see what we got here. You can get rid of two of them. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, put on a Quinjet token. What can you do with these tokens again? Uh, basically pay for an Avenger. Oh. Like, yeah, just... Basically, for one, the longer I wait, the more tokens on there, and I get to play like a, basically a character for free. That's cool. Well, for one. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna exhaust this to pay for explosive arrow. I exhaust this, deal three damage to the villain. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen left. Okay. And each minion, there's no minions, so. Oh, whatever. sorry. This is gone. Unfortunately. Okay, uh, I will attack him for three, and he'll go down to 14, retaliates for one, down to eight health. Uh, mm. I'm going to throw away these two, uh, Inspiring Presence and Helicarrier. Pay for an Avenger's Tower, and then increase my ally limit by one if I have the Avenger trait, which I do. Uh, has an action exhaust the tower to reduce the cost of the next Avenger ally you play this phase. Oh, that doesn't really matter because I have Quinjet. Mm, I'll just leave it there. That's fine. And then uh, I'll just throw this away. Action. Put an Avenger ally into uh, from your hand into play with printed cost equal to or less than the number of time counters on Quinjet that discard Quinjet. So I'll play this U.S. Agent. It's got Retaliate, but this guy doesn't care, I think. Oh, that's when he attacks. Yeah, he's ranged, so he'll just go. No Retaliate will happen. And then this guy uh, wants to... I think he's just going to attack for one, down to 13. And take a Consequential. He doesn't take the Retaliate? Uh, and the retaliate. Yep. Thank you for reminding me. No problem. Thirteen, eh? Hmm. Yeah. Done. You definitely can't help with that, but okay. Okay. First thing I can do is I can look at the top card of any deck. Sure. So it's a one. Okay. And it's a minion. We're going to recover for three. One to seven. You don't think you could attack and everything and get them dead? No. I don't oh, have okay. any attack oh, okay, stuff okay, in my okay. hands. These are all just, yeah. And then I'm going to flip. But do you have cards to buff up her enough plus this guy's attack? Any uh, card draw? No. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, just making sure. Everything is like reduce the cost, reduce <laughs> oh, the cost. okay, okay. You got all your resource cards. I don't have, do I have a weapon? That's all good. I don't have a weapon to make. That plus well, be three. Be safe then, yeah. So, Stay yeah. in the game. Stay in the game. Okay, flipping. If you can survive an attack from this guy. I'm going to stun him, don't worry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that stuns him for my attack, not for your attack. Oh. Well. Unless you want to... She's going to help me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could help you too with this guy. Uh. I can defend for you. Okay, let's do... I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff, too, because I have cards in here that I don't necessarily need right this minute. I don't have any weapon cards. 
I don't need to worry about the superpower card. I think it's deaf focus. Is that the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I have enough that I can pay for the super... But you have a lot of superpower cards in your deck, so that... Was... I know, but I, we're at 13 already. I'm not going to wait for them to come out, like, put this oh, out okay. and then wait for them. Yeah, I'm just going to try to get rid yeah. of this stuff. So I'm going to spend oh, a lightning yeah. and a physical to get rid of this one that does a plus attack. Okay. We're going to use two to play pheromones to stun and confuse an enemy. That will give me one. Um, what do I need to get rid of that one? A lightning and a physical, I can't do that. But I could get rid of this actually. Like, Sure, this is helpful to get this into play, but again, we're at the point where... Yeah, but what's this one do? Uh, she gains aerial. I don't know, the first part's the important part. Ready her. Oh. That's a ready effect. That's huge. And does that count okay, as... Okay, well then I could do that. Okay, aspects so that actually I can't play that. No, I can't do both. Oh, it's just one. Okay. Um, But I'm thinking, is this better to get rid of that? Yeah, it's up to you. Or just ready her. Well, you're saying you don't want to play resource cards because you don't think it's going to take that long. And then if you're worried about retaliate, I don't know if it takes that long. I, the plus one attack's huge. But he I is, ping, he is of, pinging us. That's yeah, it. I can't get rid of the plus, plus one attack, but... But you could ready yourself and hit him for whatever you have. Unless two. you don't want to take retaliate. Get him for two and that's, she can hit for That's four two. damage, but I'm down to nine. That increases our odds of next turn having enough yeah. to just defeat him. Because then if I die... Him. Okay, then if I, I die... I, I don't think you would die, but you still No, but have... if I do, there's... Yeah. Oh, this would get retaliated against, yeah, so right? She and she gone. would die. Yeah, no, I can't do that, actually. But she could... Mm. Your call. Yeah, I know. But you got him stunned, but he's going to attack you unless you flip. Oh, but you already I were already flipped. flipped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, however you want to deal with it. No, hmm. I'm going to go... I'm going to spend these two to actually get rid of this. Let's play... More of the long game, just in case. Increases our chance of survival. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe. I'll just maybe hold on to that one. Um, the dwarf for one, I guess. Or just stand there. She's going to take this attack, so... I'll just thwart for one. Okay. All right. Draw. Yeah, I have one already. Uh, so... Two, three. All right, I have a little damage. Okay. okay. Let's see what happens here. All right. Two here. Okay, so we're at five. Uh, he is attacking me, so the stun's gone. Yep. Then he attacks you if you want to deal with that. Yep. Um. So he does, does he have, yep. So he's going to first remove one of these and do the indirect damage, which we know is one. Okay. Because I looked at it. You're going to take it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that yeah, part. Yeah, makes yeah. Sense. And yep. then this one, he's attacking me for two, three. I will block. Uh, give the villain a tough status card. If he, if you cannot, heal three damage from it instead. Okay. Okay, he's so tough. three. So she's just dead. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And counter cards? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, who's first? Me first. You're first. Me, me, me. Okay. Okay. So the party's going to speed up here. Crossbones Assault. When defeated, Crossbones activates against the player who defeated the scheme. It's going to start with four on it. But I think maybe this time we'll be fine. Maybe now we can... Okay, uh, you are first Oh, I have player. to do mine. Sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, I got another one. When revealed, if Madam Hydra is not in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for Madam Hydra and put her into play, engage with you, then shuffle the encounter deck, place two additional threat here for each Hydra enemy in play. The Hydra, yes, and she is Hydra. Okay. So this gets five on it, and it's going to be Ooh. increasing the encounter card draw. And what does Madam Hydra do who's engaged with you now? Two scheme, two attack, six health, she's elite. Madame Hydra cannot take damage while Legions of Hydra side scheme is in play. Boom. Okay. So she's protected while that's sitting there. Force response after Madame Hydra schemes or attacks. 
place two threat on the legions of hydra side scheme so wow. you literally can't deal with her until you deal with this and when you deal with this um but that's okay maybe we just deal with this yeah so but it does increase the counter cards by one uh on future turns okay let's see maybe we don't get that far maybe we don't get that far <laughs> Okay. So you're first. And I'm first. So thirteen he has left, 13. but remember he has a tough stats card. So, so somehow got you gotta for one. Oh, and this is gone. Yeah, he's gonna eat up the okay. first attack against it. Well, I could just do a ping of one, and then I can ready her. Yeah, let's just do that. I'll ping for one. I'll attack for one. I ha she, he no longer has retaliate, so it's fine. Okay. Tough stats. Tough card. is gone. Uh, let's use helicarrier and energy to play Jessica Jones. It's plus one thwart for each side scheme in play. Okay, but we're going to use attack, I think, at this point. I'm going to use a finesse to um, ready uh, Spider-Woman and gain the aerial trait till the end of the round. Mm -hmm. And then I'll play one of these with the other one. No, they're both the same, so let's uh, remove two threat from the scheme. If you paid for this card using, I did not. So just we'll do two from there. Which will give her one. I will attack for two here. One, two. And then I will attack for two. And I'll put a one, two down to nine. I don't know if you can do the rest. Uh, well, uh, probably not. <laughs> well, maybe with allies. Yeah. Yeah, maybe with allies? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got Wonder Man. He might be able to help. <laughs> okay, my turn. Oh, finesse is for aspect cards only? Okay, that's uh, fine. Did I do that wrong? Then... Exhaust finesse to generate a wild resource for an aspect card. Yes, so then Not instead, instead I would have played this yeah, to yeah. pay and then use this to pay. Pay for multitasking? Pay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. All right. So I've just done it in the backwards way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh... Let's see here. Uh, all right. I am going to... I don't know if I have enough, actually. If you don't, you don't. But we'll get as close as we can. I mean, I have one. Do I flip, then? I do one. Do I flip, Two, maybe? three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, he's only two, but I have to discard a card. Uh, would I have enough? I can flip. I think it. I'm one resource short. I don't. Know, if you want to flip, just flip. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, it's up to you because he is dangerous on attack, mm -hmm. but that does mean he's scheming, and it's extra scheme. And yeah, okay. Probably away. His initial cost for Wonder Man to attack. You must discard one card from your hand. So for two, so just discard, play for the, with these and discard one. But then I don't have enough to play the bow, which would stun him. This guy would attack for three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm two away. Might be away, but I don't see it. Oh, hold on. Avengers Tower, reduce the cost of the next Avenger played by one. Forgot I did that. Oh, so then you get one card back. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there we go. Forgot about the Avenger Tower being there. I need to put this with another <laughs> card. So Wonder Man comes into play. All right, so I paid for him with that too. And then I'm going to pay for an arrow attack, throwing away this also to Electric Arrow. I exhaust the bow. I stun him. And deal three damage. So he's down to six. Did you already pay a card for Wonder Man to attack? Did you not already pay that? Oh, I thought it was to play. Uh, yeah, I paid yeah, it. Yeah, you paid it already. I paid it, but I meant it meant to do it. Yeah, it's yeah. on attack. Not Because in my head, I'm attacking <laughs> with this guy. Like, he's for sure attacking. Uh, I'll just do that. For yeah, three? Yeah, yeah. yeah. One, two, Takes three. Consequential. So he's at three. Yeah, and then Hawkeye, who's plus one off of this Hawkeye's oh. bow, attacks for three. So I had an additional. Yes. Yeah, I yeah, knew there was a way. Enough. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Winner is us. Yes. We did it. High five. <laughs> Boom. Avengers for the win. Okay. Still pretty tight, I feel. Yeah, it was I don't definitely. Know. I mean, he didn't really advance this much, but I don't think that's his thing. 
but this was starting to get out of control and yeah, the that... whole attachments thing was getting nuts we didn't see many uh minions it seems like we were drawing them a lot for boost cards and stuff and that indirect damage uh, cro uh machine gun thing yes yes which was better yeah but yeah sweet interesting yeah I like this like leadership thing, but it's just like I feel like I saw my allies like too early and I didn't want to pay for them yet. And then I saw some of my resources like kind of late. Uh, but I saw a little bit of mix throughout this. Was a... Yeah, so much easier than Galaxy's Most Wanted. 100%. I agree. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, that one that was. That one was. Yeah. I, I don't know about the next one, but we'll see. Oh. Yeah, that was fun. It's nice to get back to the table. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what I meant to do. Oh, yeah, we have some stuff at the yeah, end, Yeah, right? we got victory stuff to do. Oh, so yeah. get the campaign log. Uh, we're going to do this now. Uh, each player chooses one of the tech upgrades from the Hydra campaign set and adds it to their deck. Okay. So I don't think there's any repeats here. There's eight cards total, it looks like, unless I misplaced some. Uh, let's, let's go through them here. Uh, we got Laser Cannon, which is a setup card. So I think it starts in play. Uh... Hero action. Discard this card and remove it from the campaign log. So it's like a one-time use. Deal five damage to the villain and each enemy engage with you. Whoa. So I have a feeling we're going to have a villain coming up that's going to be like lots of minions and be annoying and this will help with that. That's a good card. I don't know when that is. Yep. Well, they all should be good. Uh, yeah. And then this one is permanent setup. You get plus two hit points. Your hero gets plus one thwart. It's not terrible for you. Uh, not bad. Is there an attack version of that? I'm curious. We have Adre Adrenal Stims set up. So you start with him play, I think. Uh, hero action. Discard this card and remove it from the campaign log to ready your hero and deal and heal five damage from them. So That's it's like okay. a one-time heal. Mm, but it's big. Then we have set up. We got emergency teleporter. Discard this card and remove it from the campaign log. Search your deck and discard pile for an ally. Put it into play and give it a tough status card. So if you have like a big expensive ally, this is great for that. I do have some four cost allies. So it would be nice to just throw one in play right away. That is also kind of keeping me alive, right? Because allies are what I put in front of me to protect my low health. Uh, so that does work with that theme. Permanent setup. There's the one. Yeah, plus one it. hit point, and my hero gets plus one attack. I feel like that's kind of what I have to go for. I feel like that's good. But that's also good for you, too. But I feel yeah. like I just need some health. But you getting extra health, even one. But this one. is permanent. It doesn't get thrown away. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like I start at 10. Yeah. And it's set up. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's what I go with. Uh, but we'll see. Let's keep going. Uh, we got tactical scanner set up. Hero action. Discard this card and remove it from the campaign log to draw five cards. That's really what I would take normally because card draw is king. But it's like a one-time pull. So I don't know if I like just keep this to like the end and the final scenario. Like hold it for scenario five if we make it there. And then I uh, use that to draw cards on that final scenario, which is probably the hardest one. And we go crazy. I, but oh, I we're just looking at tech cards. We can't take Oh, aren't basic. they all tech? Oh, they're not all tech. Two yeah. of those were conditioned. My bad. Oh, these are all... Okay, okay. That makes it easy then. We already looked at all of them, I think. <laughs> so it's this one. Draw five cards, one-time shot. Heal five damage, one-time shot. They all start in play. And discard this card, remove it from the other thing to deal five damage to a villain and each enemy engage with you. So it's like a timing thing. Mm -hmm. And then discard this card, remove it from the campaign log to search your deck and discard pile for an ally, put it into play and give it a tough status card. So which one uh, looks good to you that you would want? Uh, I like the cannon or the draw. Cannon is a big damage yeah, or, or draw. the draw. So which one do you want? Oh, the heal's good too. Because then you can stay in hero form longer. Any suggestions? Any, yeah, suggestions, any suggestions in the chat? I mean, all three of those are good. I mean, but again, not take out the draw. It, I think I'm actually going to go with either the heal or the cannon. But imagine that. Like, I would take this just because, like, first turn of the game, know, imagine, exactly like, five cards right off the hop. And, and you can just set yourself up, especially if you get um, more expensive cards. Yeah, I like all three of them. I'm not really, yeah, I don't really care about searching the deck for the ally. I mean, maybe that's helpful. I don't know. For me, I think, let me look, let me look. I think I have five allies. Yeah, but if, as long as you have, like, one big expensive one. I, I don't know if you do. I don't remember. I have Captain Marvel. Even Nick Fury. I can grab Nick Fury. I mean, giving him a tough size card's dumb. But just getting Nick Fury, opening, drawing a bunch of the cards. Hulk. Now I should take Cannon. 
Goliath. I have Goliath. I could just grab him, throw him into play, gets plus four attack. Oh, and then there's a phase you discard. Okay. Oh. Never mind. Excuse me. Oh, that's only if I do the action. So it's like when he's almost going to die, do an action, give him plus four attack till the end of the phase. So he has five attack, but then at the end of the phase, he's gone. Yeah, the five card is the, by far the best one. See, I, I was looking at it too the same way. I, it feels so yeah. good to be able to just draw five right off the bat and have 11 cards in hand first I, turn. I, I like to draw, and I think the draw might be good for my deck for my setup. Yeah. So, like, I, I have lots of, like, stuff to put into play to get the arrows going. Like, I didn't even see the quiver. But, uh, again, I might not draw into any of that stuff. Oh, yeah, there's a the quiver. You may play an arrow events attached to this card as if they were in your hand. Hero action, exhaust, Hawkeye's quiver. Search the top five cards of your deck for an arrow event. Attach it to this card. Uh, face up to this card. That'd be a nice one to get early. But anyways. Oh, Tezra has a very good point. The heal isn't bad since our damage carries over. I forgot that. Oh, yeah. I'm at six. Oh, I did forget that. Yeah, I'm at six. You're good because you're Well, we should have recovered there at the end, as, like before finishing him. <laughs> uh, we forgot. Oops. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay at eight. I'm only minus one. <laughs> that's fine i'll just do whatever the bad <laughs> thing is to make me have to heal, heal it's like guy. taking a bad card into your deck that you're going to see for the rest of the campaign yeah maybe one card we've seen this how many times in uh arkham horror i upgrade arkham horror doesn't have draw like this see, game does though i don't see any of them arkham horror you're drawing one card a turn this you're like yeah, drawing still, six or five every turn I still plus have... draw during your turn that it's you don't fine. even like <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> uh, yeah you'll be all right exactly i forgot that that was a thing though but yes you can just recover as your first action. That's, that's true. true. That's true. Usually there's not much going on. Too. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. Good call, Brant. Good call. Uh, so are you going to take the... Um... I'm looking, waiting for you to pick something. Oh, you're and waiting then I'm for just going to pick after. Yeah, yeah. You're waiting for me. I don't want to take one that Such you want. Gentlemen. Yeah. Um... The whore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, You're covering on your first turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for the long play. I'm going to take the draw five cards. The long play. You can set yourself up. You can get yourself That's ready. not long. That's like acceleration. That's like, I'm getting into the game fast, and I'm going to end yeah, it early. Yeah, maybe so. Yes, yes. But I look at it as like setting things up and no. getting myself ready. Oh, no, that's speeding the game up. All right. So that's yeah, one you so want? I'm going to take that one. Great. All right. I like the five damage one to get me out of a jam. Am I supposed to write this in here? Like readying my hero and, and healing for five is pretty huge, I think. Because it might allow me to use the bow. I don't think I'll ever really get to use the bow three times in a turn. But that potentially could allow that. Like using three different arrows. Mm -hmm. But then that's got to be like perfect situation. I have to have my like economy for the arrows. Have a whole bunch of cards in hand. Maybe saw Nick Fury drew up. I don't know. Uh, I like the explosive laser cannon one. That sounds fun. I feel like this is what I took before when I played. Because it just seems fun. Like yeah. just gets you, just... gets you started. Like Or, or you know, get a couple of guys in front of you, minions. And it, especially big ones. And you're just like, boom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that originally caught my eye too. It's a great card. Uh, what do you guys want me to take? I'll go with the majority in the chat. Do we go with Laser Cannon, which is the five damage to the villain and each enemy engaged with you? Remove it from play. Uh, Emergency Teleporter. Discard it. Remove it from the campaign log. Search your deck and discard pile for an ally. Put it into play. Give it a tough status card. I do have some four cost allies that I could throw into play. Help keep me alive. They could do some damage or thwarting. Build up my little wall of allies quicker. Or do I take an Adrenaline Stims? Which, just if I'm in a, a hairy situation, I could not have to flip. I could stay in hero form more, ready my hero, and heal 5 damage to prevent me maybe from going into uh, Alter Ego for a turn. So while they're making that decision, so what I assume is some of these cards get removed. They get discarded, removed from your campaign lock. So in the next, after the next scenario, it we will get to pick other ones? Or maybe the same. Or the same I, I don't know. Okay. We've got a couple laser cannon boats in the chat. So we're going big damage. Cannon pew pew, meeple, yeah, all right. I mean, it's seems like can, card. Seems like cannon is the one. All right, let's go with the big, the big bang. The big bang, all right, sounds good. Thanks, guys. Uh, all right, so these will go back into the 
Yeah, so a little spoiler on the condition ones. I guess we'll get a chance a little later. <laughs> those are good too. <laughs> Whoopsie! Spoilers. I guess they don't want to give it to you right off the bat, right? Because those could potentially stay with I, you. I'm just used to the last campaign where they give us a big, big deck. Oh, we yeah, just yeah. choose anything from it. This, yeah. This, like if we can afford it, but yeah, I forgot about the tech thing. Um. Then we're gonna record the name of each experimental attachment that entered the game in the campaign log. So if you can grab the log, find those experimental attachments. How would I know which the one? The trait is... experimental. experimental. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Canada solid. You'll know when to use it. <laughs> I think there's only the two, right? I have a feeling like the next villain is going to be just like spewing uh, minions in yeah. front of us, and then I'll be like, "Ooh, cannon time!" Or maybe the maybe the one after that. I don't know. Also, because we're playing on expert campaign, we're going to do what's in the gray boxes, which says record each identity's remaining hit points in the campaign log, as well as any cards added to their deck. Okay, so you're remaining. I have eight left. You eight, have six. I have six. I have laser cannon in my deck, which I will uh, sleeve now. Upgrade. Oh, right here. Actually, it's set up, so oh, I don't have any other. It's fine. I'll just put it in with no sleeve. It's fine. It goes in the setup. In the play. So I'll schedule the next episode like next week sometime. We just got to figure out. We got some stuff to, to schedule next week and figure out and plan. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to schedule the next episode probably like Sunday or Monday. Uh, I'll schedule it and then you'll see it pop up. So just subscribe to the channel the best way and hit the notification bell. Then you get notified when we go live. You can follow us on Twitter and stuff like that. It's down in the video description. Uh, also, youtube.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. You'll see the upcoming live streams there. So if you check in, you can set reminders there. Uh, it will also, if you're watching this later, just check the playlist links down and below. Look for the um, Rise of the Red Skull playlist two player playlist uh, in that playlist. How many times I'm gonna say playlist? Uh, you'll find I'll, I'll put the future episodes in there too. So if you're watching this far in the future, you'll find them all in the playlist section down in the video description. But that said, there's not much overhead for this one in the campaign, like the other one. We're recording, going through the achievements, victory points, going through a market, yeah. you know, all that. I I don't think we're gonna tweak our decks at all. We'll just keep it the way it is. Yep. I think. Uh, and see how it works in the next one. So in the next stream, we'll try scenario number two. And again, we're house ruling it where we'll get one shot to fail. Then we get to try again. If we fail again, we lose the campaign. We're done. That's how we're treating this. And we're playing on expert. So our health carries over and any other punishments or weird things are going to do to us in setup based on expert. We'll see. But uh, yeah, this was fun. I'm glad to have Marvel Champions back on the channel again. We're going to keep, keep it rolling. So we'll do another stream next week. Maybe a couple. I don't know. We'll see. We're just going to try to fit it in where we can and keep Marvel Champions coming back. Uh, and keep it consistent. We'll try. But there are other games that have been showing up. Publishers sending us stuff. Fans sending us stuff. Uh, yeah, we got to fit in some other games. I have some other side projects I got to work on. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So that's why I don't know exactly when the next episode is. I usually try to have it scheduled. But uh, it'll it'll come. You'll see. You'll see. And if it doesn't, something went wrong. It's 3 a.m. where you are, Drazzy. Oh, no. Get to bed, man. Anyways. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Again, thanks everyone who supports the channel. If you're interested in donating to the channel at all, links are down in the video description. Any of that money goes to equipment on the channel, goes to new games, will eventually go to getting to conventions, uh, keeps me being able to do this uh, more often. And uh, yeah, so thank you all for your support. Thanks all who are just watching. Hit that like button. That like button is free. Subscribe is free. Those help the channel grow. That helps YouTube show these videos and builds the community fills up the live chat with more amazing people and uh it'll be a good time for all but thank you everyone for just hanging out and watching us we appreciate it and we'll be back tomorrow with uh arkham horror third edition it's already scheduled again you can set reminders on the main page uh we're gonna play arkham horror third edition for the second time on stream playing another scenario it's already scheduled and then sunday we're back with arkham horror the living card game another ffg uh living card game we're going to be playing the standalone scenario based on voting from those who donate to the channel. Uh, voted on the Murder at the Excelsior Hotel versus Carnival of Horrors and Murder at the Excelsior Hotel 1. So we're playing that on Sunday for the first time ever. It's going to be a blind playthrough. I'm sure we're going to... Fall on our face. Oh, we're going to... It's going to be a crap show, I'm sure. And we're going to try two new Investigator Starter decks we've never played before. 
Uh, so it's going to be, yeah, it might be messy. But we're going to have some fun with it. Come and join us. Help us out. No spoilers. And we'll be playing some more Arkham Horror on Sunday as we have been for months and months and months. So if you're interested in that game also, not just Marvel Champions, uh, come on and join us on Sundays where we play Arkham Horror, the living card game. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Everyone enjoy the rest of your weekend if we don't see you. Bye-bye.